What's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking about what everybody seems to be talking about and that is biker DLC. Are we actually getting it? When are we getting it? And what's included? So, are we actually getting it is the first question. It actually looks like we are this time. Uh, some people have found some coding in the embedding and uh, it relates to biker stuff. Now I know most people have just went and got modded accounts so that they could have you know the vest without the shirt they could mod the color of sovereign this is actually amazing in my opinion uh, i've always been in a motorcycle themed crew in gta uh, my club has been around for about a year and you know i've always just wanted a vest but we just kind of use what we're given so far uh but this is amazing uh it looks like we actually are going to get it with the next DLC. Now the next question is when? I've watched a few videos and it seems like August is what most people are saying. Now I know Rockstar is good about delaying things and since they haven't actually confirmed anything yet, you know, it's only conjecture at this point in my opinion. We could get it in freaking December for all I know, which sucks, but you know, at least there is something in the works it looks like now what's included uh, I seen a video that had like they said it was leaked information but I mean there's no way to know or for sure if that's true or not but it was basically everything from lost in the dam bike wise uh, a lot of GTA 4 bikes uh, a lot of uh, new customization for your character uh, there was a vest there was like a couple beards, some new hairstyles, biker themed tattoos, like sayings, so on and so forth. A lot of new like uh, cruiser motorcycle style bikes. Not every crew guy who rides a Harley, you know, wears a full face. They like to ride wear the skid lids. Um, there's just a lot of stuff a personal mod garage similar to Benny's where you could go in and basically you know customize your bike how you want to ride it and that's the great thing in real life about owning a Harley is you can make it you can do whatever you want to to make it yours you know most guys who ride Harleys they don't want it to look like everybody else's now there are guys who do but for the most part everybody wants theirs to look different because the last thing you want to do is come out of a bike night at a restaurant or somewhere and you just see 10 bikes that look just like yours lined up. I mean, this is a pretty big thing if it actually comes to fruition, in my opinion, because we get to make our bikes our own instead of, oh man, you know, I got to just change the paint a little bit so it doesn't look like my brother's bike. Um... But yeah, there was a lot of stuff in the list. If we get most of that, I would be happy. And now I'm going to talk about basically how I view being a one percenter in GTA. Uh, a lot of clubs have different opinions, and this is not to bash any of them. There are good clubs out there who won't agree with this, and that's fine. But this is more of an informative thing on what we consider our standards for being a one percenter now the first thing is you only use ARs and only or knives now personally I don't like knives uh, but I mean they're okay because they're not like OP um, anything other than that even snipers are not okay in my opinion we don't tolerate them we don't like them if you want to fight, use ARs only or knives. No snipers at all. Um, if you're on a bike or in a car, you can expect to probably get blown up. And that's only because a lot of people will try and run you over with the bike and then shoot you while you're laying on the ground. I'm not saying everybody's going to do that, but that's a lot, what a lot of people do, so that's what's created that opinion for us. We're not going to sit there and get ran over, and then you shoot us while we're laying on the ground. That does not make it okay. That's still, that's still cheap. I mean, you, it's just not something we put up with. We're not even going to take that chance. Uh, the other thing is... 
modded accounts. Now, personally, our club does not let anybody in who has a modded account. And this is not because we don't understand that you want to have a vest, you want to have a modded sovereign. That's fine, we understand that, but we just don't put up with it. This is the reason why, because there are people who have battle mods. You can have no recoil, you can have faster run, modded roll. It's just, we don't put up with it. We don't like fighting that because it's just annoying. Like they only have to shoot you, they only have to strafe your head and their bullets guaranteed to hit you. Um, if you need money, this is what I always tell guys. If you need money, go out and grind missions. We do a lot of missions in our club. We do a lot of stuff to make money because we don't have modded accounts. It makes it boring. And there's you never know if somebody's going to have something that they can use to cheat. That's just our take on it. I'm not bashing any clubs who some people have modded accounts. I'm just saying that's our opinion on it. Another thing is the no patch, no pride thing. Now in real life, if you're by yourself or there's only a couple of you and you're riding through enemy territory, you're not going to leave your cut on. You're just not going to do it because you're not going to take that chance that these guys break it off in you, take your cut, because that is a horrible conversation that you're going to have to have with your president and sergeant arms. You're going to get in deep shit. And if you're in a 1% club, you're probably going to get, you know, you're probably going to get smacked. That's just the way it goes. But yeah, if you're outnumbering us, cheating, any of those things, you can expect that we're probably going to pull our patches off just because that's the way it is. But anyway, I'm, this video is running kind of long, so I'm going to draw it up. If you like what you, if you like this video, like it, comment, subscribe, and thank you for